Hello, my fellow followers and subscribers. If you are new to this channel, I thank you for clicking that subscribe button. And for all my regular subscribers, hey, hope y'all had a great year and great holiday season. I am so, so sorry. I have not been able to upload any videos. This is my first video for the year 2020. This year started out very hectic and crazy. As you can see, I am in a new kitchen because I have moved. And... Not only did I move, I had started school, and not only did I start school, but I was working two jobs with school and taking care of three kids. It was a little bit on the rough side, but I am here, and I am ready to share some recipes with you guys. Now, unfortunately, I probably won't be able to upload as regular as possible, or as I usually do, but I do plan to upload at least one video a month. At least to keep things going until I am able to finish these classes and have my break before the summer classes start. So, on that note, I hope you continue to follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, Dishing With Me Heather D. I have posted some very nice pictures. Um, I did get some requests to do a video on how I made my chicken and corn chowder. Mm, mm, mm. That was so good. So delicious. So I probably will plan on doing a video for that one. But right now, it is takeout at home. I am going to show you how I make a very delicious beef and vegetable stir fry with some Asian noodles. So, don't touch that button. Check me out and see how I get this put together. So these are some of the recipe ingredients that I will be using in tonight's dish. And it is quite quiet. Why? My kids are not here. So I figured I'd go ahead and throw this video together. So we're going to start out with some minced garlic. We got some bean sprouts. I got Chinese five spice. Sesame seeds is optional. Some minced ginger. I usually use fresh ginger, but um, I'm half stepping tonight, so don't judge me. Sweet and sour sauce. I got some ginger vinaigrette. This is going to be used to help marinate this finely chopped beef cubes. Yep. Got some really good concentrated style and it's concentrated it's not real watery see how thick it is and syrupy is like yeah this is the good stuff for fried rice and different asian dishes that is used i don't know what it's called oh dark soy superior sauce okay so there you go dark soy superior sauce and see how it's still coating that's how you know you got some good dark concentrated soy sauce for your asian dishes we got a little bit of sesame chili oil and of course our veggies and some dried noodles it says imitation dried noodles but it's made with uh the regular stuff i think the only thing that's missing is the egg so if you have allergic to egg then you don't have to worry about it they use corn oil so there we go we're about to get this put together okay so we're gonna start out with our beef i have already washed it and i'm about to marinate it with some of this panera brand ginger vinaigrette and i'm just gonna pour some of this on there uh, probably about a quarter to almost a half a cup. And I'm just going to stir that all together to let this marinate the meat. 
And while this meat marinate, I'm going to get my veggies together. I have my bell peppers in the sink to be washed. And um, we're going to get those all chopped up. Okay. I am going to chop up this orange and red bell pepper. I'll put this one to the side. And I'm just going to do a rough julienne. Of the peppers after all this is a stir-fry dish so I'm gonna julienne these up and then we'll go to the next step okay so what I have here is my bean sprouts that I have rinsed and drained and then I have my bell peppers, and then I just chopped up some um, onions. And I'm just using a regular yellow onion. And my poor eyes are starting to cry. So if you can, you know, do the whole rinse under cold water, maybe that'll help reduce some of the tears that develop when you're doing or cutting up onions. I'm going to put those to the side and uh, clean up my mess some. I'm crying, you guys. Okay, so there are three things that I forgot to mention in my recipe that is also needed. And the recipe will be linked in the description box below. But coconut oil. Coconut oil is what I'm going to use as the base to help fry up my vegetables and everything. So I'm going to use, and I've got my wok pan here. And this is about one tablespoon of coconut oil. And I'm using... Simply Nature Organic Coconut Oil, which is very, very good. I get this from Aldi's, and it, to me, it works quite well when it comes to doing different Asian dishes. So I'm going to let this oil melt and heat up, and on my back burner here, I have um, some water for boiling, because that is going to be used for our noodles. And I have to bring it to a boil, then I'm going to place that in there. And along with the coconut oil, I'm going to add a couple splashes of the chili oil. I don't want this to be too hot, but it's going to give a little extra flavor to this dish. Now, of course, with this being chili oil, it is a little bit on the spicy side. So we're going to get this all melted and put together. And then we're going to go ahead and add our meat so it can start frying. And, of course, the other ingredients is salt and pepper. Can't do without salt and pepper for your meals. So we're going to let this melt up, and then I'm going to add my meat. Okay, my oil has melted, and I'm going to put my fan on to help, but... There you go. Just gonna give this a stir. I love my little wok pan here. And I'm gonna let this cook for about, because these pieces of beef are really small, I'm gonna let this go ahead and cook for about three to four minutes before I add my vegetables. Okay, it's been about three to four minutes, and you can see this juice here, it just came from the meat, but I'm going to let that flavor up the vegetables. So it's been three to four minutes, and I'm going to have to go ahead and add all my veggies in here. Now, I'm about to make a public service announcement. This is not authentic Asian food. Of course, you should know that already. This is my take on a good takeout dinner. Okay? All right. Just follow along. I have my onions and bell peppers and my bean sprouts in here. And while these are in here, just going to give it a stir. See? This is how it's looking. I'm going to give this a stir. And I'm going to add some ginger and some mixed garlic.
Going to add just a little bit of the ginger. This is about mm, a teaspoon, maybe half. And you can use fresh, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video. I usually use fresh ginger, but I'm half stepping, like I said today. Then I'm going to use about half teaspoon, could be a teaspoon, half teaspoon of minced garlic. going to use a little bit of five Chinese five spice and I'm just going to eyeball this and that's about a good teaspoon and I'm going to add some pepper this is just a regular black pepper about a half teaspoon but according to your taste buds and some salt like I said according to your taste buds give this a stir Still waiting for my water back here to burn. I mean, to boil. Sorry, didn't mean to say burn. <laughs> you can smell all the aroma. Smells so good. Mm, mm, mm. And I'm just going to continue to toss this. So we'll be right back. Okay, so my water has come to a boil. And now I'm going to add a little bit of the chili oil to my water. Just for a little flavor of the noodles. And it should only take about two to three minutes for these noodles to cook. According to the package, at least. I'm going to add a pinch of salt. Of course, according to your tasting. And I'm going to go ahead and just drop these in. And they came in little rounds. I got it from an Asian store. One, two, three, four. Actually, it's a Philippine store. And I'm going to do five. That's all I'm going to do for now. And while those, oops, excuse me, while those go, I'm going to add my stir-fried vegetables that you get in your frozen section of your grocery store. And I'm going to mix this all together. Oh, this is looking so pretty. All the bright colors of the veggies. Add a little green to here. Now, of course, you can use larger pieces of beef, but the reason why I decided to buy the small bite size or microscopic pieces, however you want to call it, um, because my daughter is not big on beef, um, she likes, she'll eat it, but it just depends on how it's prepared, and I figured with this being smaller, you know, she can't taste the actual large chunks of the beef in this dish so it's more like to flavor the vegetables but yeah oh look my pasta is starting to come apart alrighty okay I'm gonna let this cook for about another two to three minutes and we'll be right back okay these noodles are done the two minutes is up. Ah! Flop! So, I am going to scoop them out to place in here. Use my strainer here and just slide them over. Ooh. That took no time. Like, those two minutes went by super, super fast. And they are like completely done. Now to add some of our soy sauce. Just a light drizzle because like I said, this is concentrated. And then not only going to add the soy sauce, but I'm going to add some of this ikoman sweet and sour. Woo, hear that pop. A little pinch. 
That's about a tablespoon, but you can add according to what your taste buds are. And I'm just going to mix this all up. You can add more noodles to this if you like. But just want to give this a good stir to make sure all the noodles are incorporated in this dish. And you can break them up a little bit if you think they're too long because they are a little bit on the long side. Try to get these all mixed in. And look, that is looking quite nicely. And that is pretty much it. Take out at home and only in about, say, 20 minutes. That would have been about as long as you would have taken to wait for the food for delivery or place your order and then go pick it up in the gas and time. It is all done. Now, I'm going to let this rest for a couple seconds. Well, for about a minute or two before I plate this up. Okay, now that dinner is done. Ooh, it's kind of hot. I'm going to plate this up. And uh, try this. See how it tastes. Because uh, it looks nice. Ooh, all the noodles. Try to make sure I get some more veggies. Okay. I think that's good enough. Oh yeah, can't forget. I like to top mine up for a little bit of sesame seed. <laughs> okay, so my dish is done. It's an Asian dish, so it wouldn't be right if I don't use the right utensils. Chopsticks. Okay, I know how to use them, but uh, just trying to matter to get the, the position right. Okay, get some. See how this tastes. Ooh, look at the smoke. I better let this cool off for a few seconds. Don't want to burn my mouth. Hmm. All right now. Get one of these little snap peas. Not bad. Maybe we could use a little bit more soy sauce. But you could put some of the little packet kind or regular soy sauce in this. But this is good. Mm. I can taste the little bits of beef. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. All I got to say is, this is the bar. So, you know what to do. If you like this recipe, please click like, share, subscribe. The recipe with this ingredients will be linked in the description box below. Mm -mm. I can't stop eating it. I believe my daughter will like it. It has little bits of beef. But when I get ready to do this next time, I'm going to have chunks of beef. I want to see my steak. I want to see my meat. Mm -mm -mm. Well, thank you for watching. I hope y'all have a great and blessed night. Goodbye.